The if error function is used to eliminate Excel's default error expressions because when you look at the default expression for a divide by zero error, hooey, that's ugly. You can see that div is for divide, forward slash is the symbol for divide, and then zero, you can't divide by zero, so Excel says this is my expression. That's not very viewer friendly to like the boss who's like, what does this mean? Translate. Well, we can go ahead and use the if error function to say if you get this expression instead of the devo expression, as I call it, you can say you just don't get a bonus. But before we go ahead and do that, let's go ahead and double click to take a look at it to see why we're getting an expression as such. And you can see that we're using the average ifs function. The plural s on the end means that I can set up more than one criteria or condition range. But I kept it simple, I just did one. So let's go ahead and click in the first argument so you can see down below it's in bold. The first argument says select the range you want to average. I selected this range. Now instead of just saying, okay, go ahead and average that range, let's go to the criteria range and say that with the same range, it's got to meet a certain condition. And the condition that it has to meet is that it's got to be greater than 100,000, not collectively, just cell by cell. So of the range, one of these cells has to be greater than 100,000 because if not, and they're all 100,000 or less, then you get zero. So when you have zero and you try to get the average, you count up how many you have, which is zero, and divide it into it, you get a divide by zero error. So let me hit the escape key on the keyboard, and if I come up here and I type in, let's do 100,001, 100, and hit enter, then we have one. So we're dividing that one by one. When you divide something by one, well, you get the same thing. There's your average bonus size, because it's referring to just one. Let me go ahead and hit undo, double click really fast, and then click after the equals sign, so we're going to type in if error before it, so let's do if e, and there it is, and it says return value if error, if expression is an error, and the value of the expression itself otherwise. So with it highlighted, hit the tab key to pop it open. So now we have the average if nested within the if error, well, almost, because down below in the syntax, you can see that the first argument, the value, is everything there, but we've got to click at the end of it, hit comma so we can go to the last argument which is the value if there's an error. Well we know there's an error so what do you want the value to be or the expression? I'm going to do open quotes and say no no go on bonus close quotes and then before I go ahead and hit enter we have our first set of inner parentheses so I need my outer set there's one now I have to add two to complement it to close it and then I can hit enter and hey no go on bonus. For me that's easier to understand than a divide by zero error because when the numbers are correct and you need something that tells you that they don't get a bonus, then there you go. But if they aren't correct, then it's good to have that error so you can go ahead and fix the numbers so that somebody, if we go back to here again, type in 100,001, then maybe 150,000. So two of the cells within the range are greater than 150,000. So what's the average between the two? 125. So it took the two and divided it by two as opposed to if there was none, zero, and dividing it into, well, you can't divide by zero because you'll get your devo expression or with the if error function, wherever you decide the if error expression should be. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel, get notified of the latest videos, and for only $2 a month, you can have access to all my Microsoft Office training videos.